Welcome back everybody. The Samsung Messages app has been removed from One UI 7 and that's basically a sign of things to come. Now the question is, I'm wondering what messaging app are you all going to use, especially if you were already using the Samsung Messages app. Now I'm sure Samsung's gonna be giving us an option to download it from their Play Store or from the Google Play Store, unless they are planning a total phase out of the app. But with all that being said, I am still curious. For me, I am using the Google Messages app. I like, I've been using the Google Messages app for a while, and we all know that Samsung basically has a good working relationship with Google at this time. We see that with their partnership with all of this uh, artificial intelligence, so on and so forth. But uh, you come over here to the Google Play Store, and there is a lot of different messaging apps to choose from. And when you type in messaging apps, the first one that pops up is WhatsApp. Now, I hear mixed reviews of WhatsApp. Um, from what I'm hearing, actually, like, you know, some, from Samsung users themselves, they prefer not to use that. Um, but then again, WhatsApp is actually very popular. You can see, you know, what's going on right there with the numbers. And there's these other messaging apps as well, which I do not, you know, you I, I don't prefer to use. Now, I do use Samsung, not Samsung, Facebook Messenger uh, for friends and family who choose to communicate like that. And that's just the way some people are. Once again, there's the Google Messages and there's Telegram and there is a whole bunch of other ones that you can that you can use. Right. And I'm just wondering, another question I have for some of you, because I do like the way Samsung Messages actually matches the rest of the UI. Like whenever you go to use Google Messages, it doesn't match Samsung, you know, it doesn't match Samsung One UI. It's more of a Google type uh, UI. So I'm just wondering what kind of inconvenience is this causing any of you? Or if it's inconveniencing you, are you all going to be able to just calmly walk away from it? Because as of right now, as of right now, say you're to press and hold on the Samsung Messages app, you tap on the circle here, you go into these settings, and you have the option to disable it, but you don't have the option to delete it. Now, I've heard a lot of people tell me I don't know what I'm talking about because <clears throat> they're trying to say that, you know, hey, you can actually delete this. Well, I have the unlocked variant of the S24 Ultra, and no, you do not have the option to delete Samsung messages, not at this time. Maybe when we get the update to Samsung One UI, you'll actually be able to delete Samsung messages like you're able to delete other Samsung apps in general. Please let me know what you all think in the comments. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think about this move from Samsung. Personally, I've, I've never been happy with it. I wanted, I've always wanted Samsung messages to be really useful. I wanted Samsung messages. I wanted to be able to use Samsung messages, but you know, all of the work is being put inside of Google messages. Google messages is the one that's getting all of the updates. That's getting all the new features and it's actually very, very useful. So like I said in the comments, Talk to me about this situation. Let me know if you're going to be moving on to use any other messaging apps, which messaging apps you're going to use. Let me know if you're happy. Let me know if you're disappointed with Samsung at this point. Um, I know there's been a lot of uh, disappointment with Samsung lately from certain circles, people claiming that Samsung has been copying Apple and just, just so on and so forth, stuff like that of that nature. So I appreciate all of you watching this video. If you have any special requests, Hit me up in the comments. I love doing special request videos. All right, everybody. Bye.